Hello and welcome to part 3C of the Project Cars Tuning Guide. In this video, I will cover the Advanced Suspension Tuning option. This is Spring Rates. These can be changed on every corner of the car. The higher the spring rate, the more force is required to compress the spring. If you are running at a low ride height with soft sway bars, then a high spring rate will be required. The softer the spring rate, the more the car absorbs bumps. This means when you go over a bump or onto a steep kerb, the springs will compress, keeping the tyres in contact with the road. This will make the car more likely to bottom out, as less force is required to fully compress the spring. A car with a very high spring rate is more likely to skip over the bumps, which may cause a loss of control. When the car skips over the bumps, the tyre is no longer in contact with the road, and you cannot change direction if you're airborne. Saying this, however, you will want to ride with the stiffest springs possible without wheel hopping occurring. This is because when the car body rolls, the car is less predictable. You, as a driver, want to know what the wheels are doing at all times. The springs isolate you from this. When a wheel deflects, the spring translates this into car body movement. A soft spring will compress more than a stiff spring. This will absorb some of the deflection so you are not getting a true picture of what's happening. If the front spring is stiffer than the rear, then the car will understeer. This is as, when cornering, the rear will roll more, which will try and lift the front, off the front of the car off the tarmac. If the rear spring is stiffer than the front, then the car will oversteer. This is as the rear will try to overtake the front during cornering. But, this can all be changed with the sway bar. Let's say you have a stiffer rear spring than front spring, so you are trying to have some oversteer. When you add in the sway bars, as these take effect during cornering, then if the front is now stiffer than the rear, then you are actually having understeer. That is something you did not plan for. When tuning spring rates and sway bars, it is important to consider both of them when tuning for the corners, as the sway bars may be masking any spring rate changes. The spring rate also has effects on the braking and acceleration. A stiff front spring will stop the car from diving under braking. This diving will often induce understeer if you turn in if you are trail braking. So reducing this will make your car understeer less. A stiff rear spring will stop the car from squatting under acceleration. When the car squats, the weight suddenly transfers to the rear, making the rear much more unstable than before you applied the throttle. Use the spring rate to control the squatting and diving of the vehicle, and use the sway bars to balance the spring stiffnesses for the corners. I would always have the same spring rates left and right unless you are oval racing. This will give you the most predictable handling. If you haven't experienced squatting or diving, go out in your car or ask someone to drive you 
and go onto an empty road. Stop the vehicle and apply a large amount of throttle and set off. You'll notice the rear of the car sits down and the front rises. This is squatting. Now, firmly apply the brakes. You notice the front of the car sits and the rear rises. This is diving. Now imagine you're doing that several times in succession on a racetrack such as Monaco. It isn't ideal, is it? This is why we run with stiff spring rates. That concludes part 3C of the Project Cars Tuning Guide. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like if you found it useful and remember to subscribe. If you have any feedback about this video then please leave a comment down below.